that's it all world i hope you enjoyed this video this is my ranking of all the 10 illumination movies yeah hope you enjoyed this video yeah and uh, technically this video uh, was supposed to come out on youtube like a week one week ago but uh, uh, uh that day where i filmed everything uh, i didn't uh, finish editing the video so yeah that's why it's coming out uh, this video is coming out uh, today so yeah i hope you enjoy this video anyways yeah enjoy hi guys i'm oliver and i'm nicholas and seek left pets 2 came out a few days ago so today was we're, go so we're gonna going to uh, stop and rank all ten, all 10 uh, illumination movies from the worst to the best so now coming in last place is despicable me free and uh, I did not really like this movie. I mean, uh, and uh, I didn't like this movie for many reasons. First of all, ba Balthazar Brat was an uh, awful villain, and uh, 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 he is one, one of the worst Illumination villains so far. And uh, and second reason why I did not like this movie is because Drew, Drew, the new character, uh, she reminded me of Major from Cars 2. And then the minions were just fine. They weren't the worst, but they were fine. But I really, if there's something I, I, I liked, I liked about this movie was there probably the, the jailbreak scene. But anyway, so what do you think about uh, this this people me three? I have mixed feelings uh, about this people me three because on on one hand I think the animation keeps getting better. I think the minions are really funny, but then I'm not really a big fan of sequels. I don't think sequels are great. I think the first Despicable movie was was new and, and revolutionary in many ways. And, and I think both the two and the three were not, uh, they didn't add very much. So um, I'm not a big fan of uh, Despicable Me 3. I agree, it's a number 10 on my list too. Yeah, so that's why it's coming in last place. Uh, so now coming in ninth place is Hawk. And uh, now I, I really enjoyed the animation of this movie, but a movie a movie about an Easter Bunny that doesn't want to be an Easter Bunny is not the best idea. What do you think about Hawk? I agree, it's not a great idea, but I actually haven't seen the movie. I mean, that's how low my interest is in this movie. I haven't even bothered to see it. So uh, no, um, yeah, strike it from my list. <laughs> Okay. So we, wait, where are you going? I gotta go take a shower. See you later. Bye. Anyways, uh, before we move on to 8th place, I just want to say uh, uh, this people me to uh, free and hop or two movies I gave uh, some negative reviews of. But uh, uh, on 8th place and then the rest of the movies I review in this video, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to give positive reviews of. Oh, hi there, Snowball. Aw, he's so cute. In the uh, new movie, he thinks he's a superhero. Oh, he doesn't like that. When I'm saying, uh, he doesn't like when, when I say that. Anyway, so let's move on to eighth place. So now coming in eighth place is Lorax. Now uh, there are a few pop songs and a few, uh, 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 in this uh, movie, like "How Bad Can I Be," which is uh, bad. Uh, which which is a bad song and uh, the villain is pretty bad but other than that I I seem to enjoy this movie so coming in seven places this before me too too I mean uh, one question I'm asking right now what is a this uh, this before me movie without action scenes or should I say great action scenes because uh, this the despicable me movies the the best thing uh, about this before me movies are uh, are the action scenes especially in this movie i mean the, the villain is okay but the action scene i really enjoy about this movie so now coming in the in the sixth place is this book for me now i really enjoy this movie it, it's the original movie just like nika said uh, it, it tells the story of Gru, Agnes, and the rest of the girls. And Victor, uh, the villain, is even is not only the best at school me villain, but the, the the thing that makes him so good is that he's a comic relief. Yeah, so that's why I really enjoyed this movie. Oh, Hanika, so what do you think about this book for me? 
Hi, Oliver. Yeah, I really liked uh, Despicable Me. It's one of my favorite uh, movies in the uh, Illumination series. I think maybe it's my number one, might even be. Uh, it's the original. It's the original. It's funny. It's, uh, I think the uh, animation's good. And, and I think it has a, a good story. Yeah, it's definitely my favorite. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, uh, so where are you going now? Uh, now I'm going out with the boat. Yes. Because it's the sun's shining and it's nice outside. Okay. okay. See ya. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. So that's why it's coming in sixth place. So now coming in fifth place is the Grinch. Now, uh, uh, I was a huge fan of the Grinch when I was a uh, a small uh, a child. I mean, I met him at Universal, the uh, Sue's Landing, Universal Lando, and I uh, watched the live action uh, Grinch movie. And I had a few Grinch merchandise. But when I saw the live action Grinch movie, I was like, nah, I didn't really like this movie. And uh, when I heard that they're making an animated one, I was so worried. So worried that uh, this movie would be bad. But then when I saw the movie, it was actually very good. I really enjoyed this movie. And uh, the thing that, the best thing about this movie, just like in every single uh, illumination movie uh, is the animation now uh, it went from new to old here because the animation in in like a uh, despicable me one was like uh, uh, okay but, but then when you, when you go to uh, the newest the newest the movies uh, this is what you get incredible animation and some great characters I mean, there were a few characters that were bad in this movie, but uh, Grinch himself, he was very good as Benedict Coverbatch, who was uh, Doctor Strange in Infinity War. Anyway, so yeah, that's why it's coming in fifth place. So now coming in fourth place is The Secret Life of Pet. Uh, now, so, so what, uh, uh, the thing that makes uh, all these Illumination movies good are, uh, is of course the animation. But uh, uh, not only does this movie have good animation, but this is still one of my f one of the funniest Illumination movies shown by the other ones. I mean, uh, sure, this movie rips off Toy Story a lot. I mean, the story is was ripped off Toy Story, but uh, but still, uh, one thing my my father taught me is uh, it doesn't matter if it is a rip off or not. The only thing that matters is if the movie is good and this movie is good so yeah i really enjoy this movie so coming in third place is is uh is sing now uh one thing i really like about this movie is no i'm not gonna say the animation because you, you already know that i like the animation of this movie because i've I, i've said that to like every single movie on this list but i really like the characters but not only do I like the characters and the animation, but I also really like the strong songs. The songs are, are the strongest things in this movie. And uh, one of my favorite songs in this movie are I'm Still Standing. That's why I have a, a, a rocket band poster behind me. Yeah, that movie was good. Anyways, so yeah, that's why it's coming in third place. So runner-up is Secret Life of Pets 2. Now, I really enjoyed this movie. Now, before I saw the movie, I was like, okay, this movie's going to be fine. Very special. It's just a sequel to an original animated movie. And the first Secret Life of Pets movie was just fine. But then when I saw the movie, it was awesome. It, and it was even way better than the first Secret Life of Pets movie. And one of the best things about this movie is the new character, Roaster voiced by Harrison Ford. I, I, I really like Daisy also, but I really like Harrison Ford even more. Now, uh, the thing that makes him so good in this movie is that um, uh, he is he is a darker kids movie character than uh, other other characters from ki other kids movies. But yeah, now we only have one, one spot left, number one. What is it going to be? That's a good question to ask right now. So now coming in first place is of course going to be Minion, the Minions movie. Now, uh, one of the funniest things about the Despicable Me movies are the Minions. They're funny for both kids and adults. 
But then I heard that they're making a spin-off of this before me, The Minions, which is a movie with without Gru of two hours without Gru, except that Gru is in the ending of the movie. But yeah, anyways, now I was just like the Grinch here. I was very worried that this movie would be like very bad because uh, it's because uh, the minions can't make like a two hour movie without the help of Gru and he and Gru is only in the ending. Well, they can. And this movie was way better than what I thought it would be. Not only does it have great animation, although the Grinch had movie had a great a great more good animation than this movie. Now, I, I really enjoy this movie. And the best things about this movie is, is the story about all the minions trying to find their boss. And then they end up with Scarlet Overkill. And, uh, and uh, then uh, she tries to kill the minions. And then uh, Kevin uh, becomes the leader minion, uh, becomes a giant and, a star, uh, and uh, saves on them. Yeah. So yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. So that that's it for my list. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, do a thumbs up. But if you don't like the video, do a thumbs down. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye!